It's the 29th of February, a day we have almost every four years. As you probably know, a year is defined by the time it takes for one trip around the sun. Our year is typically referred to as being 365 days, but it's actually 365.2422 days. And yes, that small addition makes a difference. If we didn't have Leap Day, we would miss nearly six hours every year which means in 100 years, our calendar would be off by 24 days. That would put our spring equinox in February. We can't have that, so we add one day every four years. This makes for a yearly average of 365.25 days. Problem solved, right? Almost. There is still a rounding error that gives us 11 extra minutes every year. At that rate, after 100 years, our calendar would be 18 hours off. That's why we have something called leap year hopscotch. We skip leap year if it falls at the start of a century, unless that year is divisible by 400. That's why we didn't skip leap day in 2000. This last one we had was 1900 that we skipped, and the next one we skip will be 2100. So that math is going to bring our average to 365.2425 days. Going back to the calculator, we're still off by about 26 seconds. That would take 3,333 years to be one day off. For now, that's close enough. Happy Leap Day.